In this video I will be making something very interesting if you happen to like cookie e-liquids. Welcome to Do It Yourself e-liquid recipes. I'm John, I'm a flavor compounder and today I'm back with something very nice. This is a cookie based recipe but I didn't go for any cookie or cookie dough profile. This is a full flavor soft baked cookies recipe. You can taste the cream and the butter but you can also taste the baked cookie dough from the provided throat hit from the extra propylene glycol. I will start by saying that this is an easy and very rewarding mix. For anyone mixing simple e-liquids, this is a recipe that will be a small step to the world of side profiles and more complicated mixes. I like to vape this mix usually in the morning or any time that I'm having a coffee. The sweetness from the cookie dough comes out in a soft and pleasant way with lots of cream and butter to taste. You can mix and vape this one, but if you let it steep, it will become more rich with a sweet vanilla aftertaste. I also like how this vape smells. It has that soft, sweet smell that no one will complain when you vape it around them. To some of you that you have tried a commercial cookie flavored e-liquids, the taste will be very familiar. And if you like cookie liquids, now you can make your own version after trying this one by changing the ratios to the flavor you prefer. If you also like the recipe but you need it a little more stronger, you can use the double shot version for an extra flavor boost. Now this is a 70%, 30% high VG blend. The fullness that the glycerin gives to the vape, it helps all the side profiles come out slowly when you're vaping it and not just all together in a bundle. And also if you can wait a little longer, I will recommend leaving it up to two weeks for stepping and it will definitely mellow out and you can taste all the side profiles in this recipe. In the description I have the link for the recipe and in the same link there is also the double shot recipe that I mentioned. The mix I'm making right now is the stainer version and it's only at 5 milliliters sample ratio. This way you can try it out with a quick mix to see how you like this recipe without using a lot of your flavorings. Also at 5 milliliters if you want to make more later, just multiplying everything by 5, you will give you 25 milliliters for example, and so on. I chose to mix it at 3 milligrams of nicotine, since nicotine doesn't go very well at higher concentrations with cookie flavors. It makes them taste a little bitter, but up to 9 or 12 milligrams of nicotine, it should be okay. If you want to adjust the nicotine, I also included a link to a ratio calculator in the description. After I'm done, I will vape the one I'm just making now. And also I have an e-liquid that is two weeks old. And then I will try that one very quick and compare them together. If you don't have any ingredients for everything that I'm using today, you can buy them for about $25. Also, if you're just starting out, this recipe is a great way to get in the DIY part. And the ingredients I'm using today can also make many other recipes like milks, cereals, custards, pastries and so on. In this recipe I used golden butter from Capella. But also any other butter flavor that you have on hand would go okay. For example I also have a butter from Lauren and it tastes pretty similar. Also instead of the sweet cream that I use from Capella, if you don't have it you can use Bavarian cream, malted milk or a few other creams that I have listed in the recipe. Now I use the smaller scale since I'm waiting a very small amount today, but also you can mix this by milliliters, drops, or with the microgram scale if you have. Now I will let it steep for about 20 minutes and I will be right back to try it out. Okay, so it's been 20 minutes now. I left it in the warm water. I will mix it again very quickly and then put it in the first mod. I'm using a 25 watts mod with a 0.5 stainless steel coil. This is my go-to mod usually when I leave the house. The battery lasts long enough and I really like the mouth to lung flavor that it gives. Now I will try it very quickly. Okay, yeah, I like it. Um, it's different. The new one I just made right now, maybe I should have mixed it a little more, but there's not much flavor yet or there's not enough flavor yet. I like the way the flavor comes out, but it definitely needs some more time to steep or blend. It's not bad. It could actually work right away for a quick shake and vape, but it will definitely benefit from leaving it. Or even overnight, it helps way more than the 20 minutes that I left it. So now I will go and try it on the second mod that I have. I will set it at 18 watts because it's a little thicker of an e-liquid and I have a 1.5 ohms clap-on coil. 
Yeah, okay, so this is what I'm talking about. This one is way more mellow. It's more full, it has a thicker vape feel, better vape smell, and it's much smoother hitting. You can feel the throat hit, but it's there blended together with the rest of the flavor. It's not standing out as much as it stand out on the fresh one. It is definitely worth waiting. It's not different, it doesn't change flavor-wise, but what changes is the flavor delivery. It's more full. If you make it, shake and vape it if you can, maybe a milliliter, and then leave the rest at least one or two days, and you will see what I'm saying yourself too. This is a nice cookie mix, as I said. If you want to make it more commercial-like, add a little bit of sweetener, and it will taste a little better or a little more commercial-like. Now, that is all I have for this recipe. I will post all the links for everything I used in the description. You can check them out if you're interested. Leave your comment or your questions about the recipe or just to say hello or your opinion. And if you make any changes, let me know again. I would like to see what you made. That is all I have for you for today. So see you again next time.